What's going on, YouTube? I'm Purple Boy, and today is International Cat Day. <laughs> oh, hi there, everybody. What's up, everybody? I'm Purple Boy, and apparently today's International Cat Day. And right here, as you can see, I'm with my fellow feline, Gotham. Yes, my cat name is Gotham. I mean, it's pretty obvious why. But more importantly, it's because Batman is like my favorite hero of all time. I'm a Batman freak. So, of course, it just fit to call our cat Gotham. And I say our because I brought him. Well, get well. yeah, I purchased him for my fiance. On her birthday, uh, I want to say about two years ago. I think it was about two years ago. Yeah. And she absolutely loved him. Isn't that right? Got them. Isn't that right? So what I'm going to do today is talk about my top five favorite cats in both film and television. But first, everybody, everybody, everybody wants to be a cat. Dance, got them dance. Dance. Why are you not dancing? Everybody wants to be a cat. Oh, oh, oh. Really cool, man. He doesn't scratch that much. Maybe the couch. But all in all, got some pretty cool cat. My fiance thinks I doesn't like him. Okay, sometimes I don't. All right, okay. So you want to leave? Fine then. Go. Leave. Ha <laughs> ha yeah, the SWAT cats. When I was a kid, I thought this cartoon was the most awesome thing on TV. Kid you not, I absolutely loved it. SWAT cats is about two demoted fighter pilots, Razor and T-Bone, who become masked vigilantes and protect Mega Cat City from the forces of evil. I mean, come on, man. Razor and T-Bone, is that not awesome? Not to mention, who can resist that awesome theme song? This is my crutch, so I should probably stop playing with that. Usually during a typical episode, these cats would be like mechanics during day. And then of course at night, they don these pretty cool jumpsuits. Then they get in these awesome freaking planes and just fly around and just yeah so okay it wasn't like that it was a little more like this Yeah, that was pretty freaking dope. If you've never seen this show, you are doing yourself a disservice. Please go out, search for these episodes, and watch them. I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy them. For all you 90s babies like myself, you already know what I'm talking about. Donkeys don't purr. You think I am kind of... <laughs> Fear me if you dare. Hey, look, a little cat. Look out, Shrek. You got a piece. It's a cat, donkey. Come here, little kitty, kitty, kitty. Come on. Kitty. Come, oh, oh, come here, little kitty. Not often a sequel is better than its predecessor, but that was definitely the case with Shrek 2. And I want to say it had a lot to do with Puss in Boots. He's a charming lady killer who's really skilled with a sword. He woos the women and cuts down the villains. Sort of like Zorro, actually. I don't have the 
the time to give you the proper instruction. I have had the proper instruction since I was four. And like Zorro, Puss in Boots was also played by Antonio Banderas. It's no one that he keeps getting roles like this. I mean, he's perfect for him. I absolutely love Antonio Banderas. I mean, he's so charming. How could you not? Zorro and Puss in Boots are pretty much the same character. And honestly, I don't think you can find another actor who can replace him as Puss in Boots. Alien is an atmospheric sci-fi horror classic. I mean, it introduced us to the xenomorph and to one of cinema's best superheroes. Freaking Ripley is awesome. But what we really want to know is, what the heck is up with Jones? And if you don't know who Jones is, he's the cat in the film that the other characters go through limps just to try to save. One guy even dies for it. I mean, come on, who's not at the edge of their seat watching this film hoping that Jones survives? Okay, yeah, you got the humans, man. Forget them. Hey, man, what about that cat, though? Can you get him out alive? No other cat has been more important than Orion in the classic comedy Men in Black. Everybody has pretty much seen this movie. And in it, two agents named K and J, played by the awesome Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones, are looking for this object. And in the film, a dead alien tells them that the object is found in Orion's belt. So throughout the entire movie, they're trying to figure out what the heck is Orion's belt? Agent J and K is racing against the clock to get to Orion's belt and this huge freaking giant cockroach is also looking for it. I think it's not until like almost towards the end of the film that they find out that Orion's belt is actually the collar around Orion's neck. The cat that belonged to the dead alien. Thanks Orion. You have saved us all. Okay, so I take back that last statement. This cat is probably more important than Orion because of the length at which these two characters are willing to go to get him back. Keanu you stars Key and Michael Key and Jordan Peele, the director of the recent Get Out. This is possibly the most hilarious film about a cat in recent memory. I freaking love this movie. These guys go up against mob bosses, drug dealers, crazed, psycho assassins, and it's all worth it for this face. Exactly. Alright guys, so that's my list of top 5 cats in movies and television. I encourage you guys to go out and enjoy your cats. Show them how much you care. Show them how much you love them. Feed them. Pet them to no end. Do whatever weird thing it is that you do with your cats. I'm not going to judge. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you drop a like on this video and click that subscribe button. And come on, man. Come back for more. Because Purple Boy always got more, baby. You know what? This has really inspired me to go donate money to a cat orphanage. Yeah, I think I'm going to go do that. These cats need homes, man. Nobody likes stray cats. Actually, <laughs> I'm about to go watch Slot Cats.
Yo! Yo, what's going on, YouTube? I'm Purple Boy, and it's International Cat Day! I think I've scared my cat.